Hey everybody, Mike here from DIY Aqua Pros. Today we're gonna to show you how to make your own phosphate fertilizer solution for use in your plants and tank. Now dosing phosphate can sort of be a double-edged sword. If you dose too much, it can easily cause an algae bloom, but at the same time, you can also give your plants the boost they require. Let's start the project. For this project, you'll need a gallon of distilled water and some type of bottle to serve as the container for your fertilizer solution. You can use any size and style of bottle you want, just make sure that it has a cap. We're choosing to use the 500 milliliter brown glass bottle you see on the right. You're also going to need an amount of potassium dihydrogen phosphate and a gram scale, both of which you can find online for pretty inexpensive. Last, you're going to need a 20 mil syringe and a small piece of vinyl tubing, which will act as the needle for the syringe, making it easier to dose our aquarium. We found that every four inches of this tubing accounts for roughly one mil of solution. Now that we know what we need, let's talk about what concentration of phosphate we want to achieve in our aquarium and how to go about making that solution. The estimate of index suggests that we maintain a concentration between one and three milligrams per liter, or PPM, in our aquarium. We're going to choose to dose our aquarium with a concentration of 2 mg per liter because adding too much phosphate can easily cause algae blooms, but we should be fine if we stay in the middle of this index. Now to make our fertilizer solution, we need to start by doing some basic stoichiometry. A few of the numbers in this calculation can be changed, and we'll go over them at the end. We start by writing down our desired concentration of phosphate being 2 mg per liter. We then divide by 94.9 grams, which is the molecular weight of phosphate. Next, we multiply by 136 grams, which is the molecular weight of our fertilizer, potassium dihydrogen phosphate. It's at this point we want to get out of milligrams and into grams, so we divide by 1000 milligrams. The last step in this calculation involves multiplying by the amount of liters your aquarium is. Now we're using a 55 gallon aquarium, which is equal to 209 liters. Don't forget that one gallon equals 3.8 liters, so you can put your own number here. When we do the math above, we end up getting 0.599 grams, which is the amount of our fertilizer we would add to our aquarium if we were dry dosing. Since we're making a solution, we get to decide the volume of each dose. We're going to choose 10 mils. The last step involves multiplying by 500 mils, which is the volume of the fertilizer container we're using. When we do this calculation, we end up getting 29.96 grams, which is the amount of potassium dihydrogen phosphate we need to add to our fertilizer container. Every time we extract 10 mils from this solution and add it to our aquarium, we'll be dosing a concentration of 2 milligrams per liter phosphate. Now let's go over a few of the numbers in this calculation, which are subject to change. The first number we can alter is our desired concentration. We're going to recommend sticking with 2 milligrams per liter, or even 1 milligram per liter, because overdosing phosphate can easily cause an algae bloom. The next number that's subject to change is the volume of the aquarium you're dosing. To find out how many liters your tank is, simply take the volume in gallons and multiply it by 3.8. We can also change the volume of each dose. We chose 10 mils because we're using a 20 mil syringe, and because this volume enabled us to stay under the solubility max of our fertilizer. Going over the solubility max would prevent us from dissolving all our phosphate into solution and thus reduce the concentration of each dose. The last number that's subject to change is the volume of the container you're going to house your fertilizer solution in. In our example, we're using a 500 mil bottle. If you were using a one liter bottle, you would put down 1000 mils. If you don't feel comfortable doing these calculations yourself or you wanna double check your work, we've posted a link in the description to a fertilizer calculator that will do all the math for you. Now let's get back to the project and make our solution. Start by turning on your scale and weighing out the appropriate amount of potassium dihydrogen phosphate you calculated previously. Add the fertilizer to your bottle with the help of a funnel. Using your distilled water, fill the bottle up all the way to the top. Screw on the cap and shake well for about 30 seconds to dissolve all the phosphate. Don't forget to add a label with the appropriate dosing information. When you're ready to dose your aquarium, attach a piece of vinyl tubing. The four inch piece we're using will account for roughly one mil of solution. So when we go to extract each dose, we want to pull the plunger on the syringe back to where the liquid will reach the 9 mil mark. This will account for a full 10 mils because 1 mil of solution is in that vinyl tubing. And now you're ready to dose your aquarium with a concentration of 2 milligrams per liter phosphate. We recommend adding this dose 2-3 to three times a week to only heavily planted aquariums. To learn more about the microbiology taking place in your aquarium, as well as strategies to prevent and eliminate algae, check out some of our aquarium science videos on our channel and website. 